Tengri, in the convictions of the ancient Turks and Mongols, all life existing on earth, is dependent upon him, they considered him to be the manifestation of a celestial beginning, the maker of the universe, and the spirit of the sky. It was Tengri who initially showed up as a preeminent god, situated in a celestial zone of the universe, managing the destinies of whole people groups and their rulers. The actual appearance of Tengri was unknown, and he was viewed as immortal and boundless like the blue sky. Tengri was the essential divinity of a pantheon of divine beings related with different aspects of human life and natural phenomena. Ancient Turks and Mongols believed that Tengri administered all presence on earth, deciding the destiny of people, just as that of whole countries. Turkic and Mongol rulers based their power on a mandate from Tengri, addressing themselves as his children on earth. At the point when a ruler lost power, it was viewed as a sign that he had not acted in amicability with celestial law. Tengri was ubiquitous, and was adored essentially by lifting the hands upwards, and bowing low. Some prayers consisted for him to bestow good mind and health, and to help with performing great deeds, it was the person's obligation, to start those great deeds, and to deliberately live in concordance with natural law and the spirits of nature. Tengri, was believed to act of his own volition, however with decency, dispensing rewards and punishments. It was believed that Tengri assisted those who revered him, and who were active in trying to accomplish his will. 